Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, going to finish up that series of getting to know your rights. So this is going to be on the 9th and 10th Amendment. And what better way to do that than, than to discuss one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, and it is called With Honors with Brendan Fraser and Joe Pesci. Long story short, uh, Joe Pesci's a homeless dude living on uh, the Harvard campus, befriends uh, Brendan Fraser's character. Whole life lesson, you know, be true to yourself, whole thing. Awesome fucking movie. It's Joe Pesci, one of his finest moments. Uh, but there's a scene in this film that deals with the Ninth and Tenth Amendment. Um, so, uh, Brendan Fraser's got to go to class, Joe Pesci goes with him, and the professor is uh, asking very stuffy, uptight, you know, almost a, a aristocratic type uh, individual, and he's grilling the class about why... The Constitution is, you know, could the president ever be a king? And the kids are giving their answers, and then the professor just rejects uh, all their answers in a very high-handed, dickish fashion. And uh, Joe Pesci gets roped into it, and he says, look, you know, you, you call the Constitution crude, but the the beauty of the document is the founding fathers knew that they were all pompous men and they left their they left a way to fix problems and that's the beauty of the constitution it's a it's a living breathing document now uh making changes to the constitution uh which is literally what the amendments are we you know we've added other ones but the the first 10 are your um, are your within the Bill of Rights. Now, when we get to 9 and 10, I'm not going to read the, the letter of what it says, but I'll give you the spirit of what it says. Basically, Amendments 9 and 10 say, look, there's going to be stuff that we haven't outlined here, uh, so we know there's going to be issues down the road, and we're going to leave it up to not only just the federal government, but to the state in which you reside to come up with solutions to future problems. Now, that in itself, um, different states, sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll come across different laws, different penalties. Uh, but one of the things that you'll find always in the conversation is state versus federal rights. You know, this is kind of that balance that we have that, you know, should this be a government ruled by the people or should it be ruled by an elitist class? You know, that's what and, and that is the fundamental argument that we find over and over again. There's no perfect form of government, you know, whether you live in a democratic republic, a true democracy, uh, you talk about communism, socialism, all of them have their problems. The beautiful thing about the Constitution, and, you know, we kind of get on our high American horse thinking that ours is the best. It has been used as a model for a lot of countries when they got their independence down the road. But when you look at the Bill of Rights, when you look at our Constitution, uh, it's a stepping stone. It's a guide. You know, Joe Rogan has a really good bit about uh, how basically Republicans, oh, you can't change anything. You know, the, 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 the wisdom of the scroll. One of the funniest things that he ever said was, if you were to go back in time and get the founding fathers and bring them back here, and you broke down, you know, how much the world has changed since 1776, they would say, you guys didn't write any new shit like you lazy assholes you know we we left you a guide on how to do this now has the country changed since 1776 oh yeah dude we had three million people not including slaves and those pesky native americans uh strewn out over 13 colonies or or loosely um they they were uh, they were states by the end but they were loosely affiliated we're now coast to coast plus other territories uh, we went from 3 million, our current population is over, I always get this wrong, in my mind it's 325 million, not not bad, but it's actually more than that. Uh, so that's going to be it for, for this section, thanks for watching, uh, if you're new, like and subscribe, talk to you guys down the road, leave comments below, and uh, I'll see you when I see you.